All right, it's time to continue on with some more of Resident Evil Zero. All right, roll was successful. You are entering an insane world. All right, let's go. So yeah, last time I have to, uh, I have to go all the way back to the beginning and get the grappling hook. Well, what fun that's gonna be. Well, you know, if I plan on doing that, though, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna have to leave the pistol behind, so which means Rebecca's gonna have to cover for me. Oh no, wait, never mind. I have uh, two free slots open, so never mind. I can get the grappling hook without uh, having to drop anything. That's right. Bad monkeys. That's a bad Mr. Monkey. That shotgun does a number on those monkeys. I'm a, uh, I'm pretty impressed. Let's take a look at Rebecca's inventory real quick. Okay, she has room for one item.
see, I'm gonna take a more direct route where I need to go. Wait, did that door really lock? Oh, that's right, I forgot. Ever since I solved that puzzle, that door doesn't open anymore. I don't think it does. Okay, so yep, it's back all the way around. This circuit breaker appears to be supplying power to the elevator. Elevator. This way. Okay.
So let's see what we got here. Oh, there's a safe station right up there. Let's take a look at this memo. Marcus's Diary 2. This page has been torn out. Trouble is unlikely, but I closed my babies up in a special capsule, but it won't be safe if I hold on to it myself. I'll hide it in that place, and hide it leave put it in a forest. To open the capsule, the special stripping agent is necessary. No way Spencer's lackeys could figure out how to make it. Hmm. Looks like there's another clue to another puzzle later on. Bookshelf contains a number of books about vi viruses. The titles are all unfamiliar to you. Oh, I wonder if I need the grappling hook again. Well. What's this? Poor dude. Let's see here. A simple elevator shoot for transporting items. It appears to be connected to the operating room. Send something to the operating room? Not yet. Alright, let's save it here. back to get the grappling hook. Hi, right, once again. I'll leave this behind for now. Hopefully this is the last time we're going to need this hook shot. A grappling hook. Oh, memo. Laboratory manager's diary. Today, under Director Marcus's orders, I changed the platform entry code. Later, I asked him what the source of the entry code was. He told me it was based on something significant in his children's growth. But the director's a loner. He isn't married, and he sure doesn't have any children. What did he mean? Hmm. Let's go back to the previous page. So, if I know Dr. Marcus well, he might have something to do with his leeches. I mean, I don't know. Wait, 
But luckily there's a uh, shoot nearby, so. Oh, what do we got here? Ah, uh, we got the map. Took the lab a map. Statues of Rabani has been smashed to bits. A collection of leech samples. Press the button. No. Save it. It's locked, you can't open it. Okay. So let's leave the grappling hook behind once again. some Molotov cocktails. Might as well save it here too in case, in case something goes wrong. Shotgun shells. The shelf is filled with various lab equipment. Everything looks well, very well used. Give me the shells. I'll take those. Oh, what do I have here? Another memo. Leech Growth Records. February 3rd, 1978. Administer team to four leeches. Their will to survive leads them first to parasitism and predation. Then they breed and multiply. Such a single mind of biology makes them attractive candidates for bioweapons research. Afterwards, no major changes observed. February 10th, 1978. Seven days since administration of T. Rapid growth to double former size. Signs of transformation emerging. Spawning successful. They double their numbers in one hour, but the ravenous appetites led them to cannibalism. Hastened to increase food supply, but lost two. 
March 7, 1978. Provided them with live feed, but lost half when the live food fought back. However, the leeches are learning from experience and are beginning to exhibit group attack behavior. They are also seizing cannibalism. The revolution is exceeding expectations. That's a scary thought. April 22, 1978. The leech is no long... No long... Now let's retry that sentence. The leeches no longer exhibit individual behavior, even when not feeding. They move as a collective. They consume everything I offer with remarkable efficiency. April 30... 30th? Not whatever. 1978. An employee has stumbled upon... To my experiments. Can a human be a food source? How will the leeches respond? June 3, 1978. A day worthy of commemoration. Today they began to mimic me. Surely they recognize their father. Wonderful children. No one will take you away. Oh boy. This makes things far more interesting. It appears to be a device for pumping gas into the room next door. The device is empty right now. Hmm. Wonder. I wonder if I have to go back a couple of rooms. No, not this room. This room. Capsules is glowing. All right. Oh, what do we have here? There's a button. Press it. Oh, boy. for some kind of object. There's a device for entering a combination, but it's missing a part and can't be used. Well, it's good to know for next time. Jerk. Oop, I didn't want that. Actually, I kind of did here, because this would be a good place, this would be a good opportunity to save. Try that again later. Oh, really? Alright, so I wonder if I have to do this.
Seriously? Oh, I need a, uh... Oh, I need a gas canister. Alright. Let's take a look at this, though, here. The capsule appears to contain a specimen of a leech. The lid won't budge. Maybe it's sealed with some kind of special material. Okay, so I have to, uh... Unseal that somehow. Okay, this is what I want. Ooh. That's gotta hurt. I'm gonna try the cocktail. Time to burn, zombie! So that's where it is. Okay. Let's grab the first aid spray and the uh, herbs. Perfect. Great. Let's move on. Oh, figures there's another first aid spray right here, but that's okay. I'll just leave it for now. Oh, what's this? Another one. So we got two first aid sprays, eh? That's good to know. This operating has been overturned. It looks like it happened recently. Alright, so where to next? I gotta figure out some way how to uh, get rid of the. Uh, oh, what's this down here? The investigators report Dr. Marcus, co founder with President Spencer of the Umbrella Corporation, disappeared 20 years ago. The results of his research have been kept under wraps the entire time. The reason became clear here at the training facility ran by Dr. Marcus. Well, not here exactly, but underground. When we ventured below, we understood. There we found the evidence of Dr. Marcus's research into the T-virus prototype called Progenitor. The evidence of years of hideous experimentation that used company employees as guinea pigs. We cannot know how many were forced to become subjects, but based on the evidence, no less than 20 individuals were involved. Some of them were taken deliberately to keep the corporation's secrets safe. Where the doctor is now, I don't know. But considering the recent rapid growth of Umbrella Corporation, I can't help but think that this research is continuing. Yes, his experiment lives and continues to grow in the dark. Those things, the fruit of his research, they fill his facility. The rest of the notebook pages are missing. Okay. So like I said before, now I gotta figure out some way how to uh, get this gunk off the lid because that's the next MO. Now maybe perhaps Billy may have an answer. Here. It's been refined with fresh bioorganic fluid. 
The surrounding equipment is running. Looks like some kind of chemical. Put it in the mixing set. Put the right chemical in the mixing set. Ah, okay. Well, let's examine it. Well, not that. The container is filled with the red chemical. It doesn't appear to be useful by itself. Ah, I gotcha. Okay, perfect. That's what I want. So what, do we have, so what do we have here? The blue sculpture is specially shaped in the form of a leech. Okay, so I think I know where to put this. Save it here. Mysterious objects are floating in the water. Don't want to know. Take the input registration coil? Yes. Or regulator. Well, let's see. There's something else here. There's something written on the back of the photograph. To James, to commemorate your graduation, 1939. Huh. Judging from the age, that guy could be Marcus's son, or grandson.
I should have some two out of the other. Rebecca has to use the regulation regulator foil. State spray. to get the cable car moving again. All right, perfect. But I can't do that right now until we get the uh, machine room opened. Sterilizer that can be contaminated by a virus. I don't know exactly where to go with this. There we go. That's what I want. Look, look, 
we got in there? Hello again, welcome back to the stream. How's it going? This sounds so. Alright, you know you're getting them all. Oh, I don't have them all top with me. Never mind. Come on. Boom. <laughs> all right. So, uh, how's it going? Oh, did I reload my shotgun already? Yeah, I did. Let's take a look at this. The key engraved with the vis with the visage of a hideous monster. All right. Um, well, we'll talk about that later. Have you make me your mind now? Um, still not 100% sure with this. I'm doing quite well. I'm just, just, I'm gonna, just enjoying another day at the office. You know, nothing fancy. Now, what was I doing? Um, let's see here. Is it Rebecca that can use the key or is it Billy that needs the key? the breeding room. I'm just trying to think. Let's take a look at this room. Oh, cool. Throw it away? Yeah. Yeah. That's the issue with, uh, well, not just my Twitch channel, but my YouTube channel in general is, uh, is, uh, trying to get people to follow. Whoa! Hello! Ah, get away from me! You missed. Uh -huh. You missed. Come on. Ow! Ow! Ah, get away from me, jerk! Not you, but uh, these uh, lizard men. Oof, that was a close one. What do we have here? Dial. All right. So Billy needs the dial. I almost shot him out of the air. Let's take a look. Okay, and she's gonna need healing, but lucky for me, I left some healing stuff behind. So I'm gonna get Billy the dial, and I'll heal myself up right away. I mean, she's doing okay for right now, but uh, there's no need to press it anymore. Yeah, you're right. I don't need to press that button anymore. Let's see here. Which room was it in? That's the machine room right there. No, the machine room is right there. Just trying to think. Oh, I'm just uh, thinking out loud. I. I always do that during my stream. So if you, so if you or anybody else uh, sees me yammering about something here, ignore it. I do it all the time. Not gonna make a big deal of it. All right. Anyways, as I was saying, I gotta get, get Billy the dial. There we go. Yes. Send him the dial. Okay, looks good. I mean, the mod thing, um... Yeah, I'm still not quite sure what this whole mod thing is. I mean, is it like a moderator? Or is it a, uh... I mean, is it like a coach? Or, I mean, I, I, I'm not very familiar with that sort of thing. So you have to explain that to me. Oh, come on, keep... Come on, give me the gosh darn first aid spray. Thanks. I need it. Well, of course, I'm not going to use it right away. I'm just going to hang on to it for now. Hang on every single time I... So I wonder what Billy's been doing. I wonder what Billy's been doing the whole time. He's like, um, yeah, I'm just uh, sitting around here uh, doing my thing, just chilling. Let's see what we got here. There's something inside. The dial. Yeah, Mediator. 
like a mediator, like a coach, a mentor, that sort of thing. Anyways, let's save it here and let's move on. Yeah. Yeah, mediator. Yeah, how does that work? Because, like I said, I'm not very familiar with that sort of thing because nobody's ever asked until now. combination? No. I gotta go back to the files. Because there was a combination somewhere, but I forgot what it was. Um, here? Okay, four. So that double their numbers. So that's eight. Okay, so that's lost two. So that's six. Three. So the combination, if I read everything correctly, is four, six, three. Combination? Yes. So. There's more? Wait a minute. Let's take a look at this again. Let's see here. Okay, so four. Four, eight, six, three. So I wonder if it's a four digit combination. Let's try that. Let's try this again. Perfect. Piece of cake. All right, let's move on. Maybe I could use this. Rebecca here. Over. Billy, I found something here that might make you happy. It's an aerial cable car. Really? That's great. Now we can get out. Yep. Let's regroup as soon as possible. Over. Roger. Oh, shoot. I just realized something. I gotta, they gotta swap items again because I think he's supposed to have the regulator. She's not. I didn't stop to think of that. Alright, so it's time to... Oh, and another lovely round of uh, swap items. what? I guess you know what I mean now. Do you... I think so, but well, well, as the old, but as the old saying goes, sometimes it's best to learn from uh, doing rather than have someone explain. to take a quick break. Just give me one sec. Hmm. 
Mind Gator is an exclusive inspiration source for all people globally. We focus on finding only the top quality objects for you to view and take inspiration from. Hmm. That's... That's... That's, a... That's something. Hmm. Okay, I'm done. Alright, now that the break is over, let's get back to the game. I'll just leave one slot open in case if I need to grab another item. So basically, well, I'll look at it again later. I really gotta stay focused on the task at hand. It's time to get the cable car running again. Wait, what do we have over here? There's a lever here. Pull it. Okay, so that moves the ladder. Yeah, I think I get the idea now as far as Mighty Eater goes. Of course, like I said before, uh... Of course, like I said before, the best way to learn is from, uh, doing. Yeah. What do I have here? What is this? What do we have here? The output regulation coil. Okay, well... I only got one part of the problem solved. Oh, yeah, I gotta go back and, uh... Do I have to go up, or do I have to go into the car? Uh, I suppose you could be my modiator. But, I expect... I have very high expectations. To get the, okay, so that's another component to get the car moving again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Exchange. Well, wait, I have an idea. Leave. Yeah, I already Googled uh, what my theater is. Sometimes I get, sometimes I get the gist of it. First aid. All right. I know Rebecca's getting low on shells, but I still need to hang on to the handgun for her in case she runs out of ammo. No, I mean how you make a mod, or you know how to make. Oh, like if it's a mod for a game, um, no, I don't know how to make mods for games, and I'm really not a fan of mods because it feels like it takes something away from the game and in fact i've been hearing there's been a, quite a few illegal mods as well that uh have gotten people banned Yeah, like I said, because I'm not understanding. Guys, I looked it up. Well, I mean, my channel's perfectly fine the way it is. It doesn't need to be changed or anything. Oh, wait. What's this? Uh, no. We're not going to need any more uh, stripping agent. But I will, however, need a uh, room, because I'm going to mix these two herbs together. Why not? Oh, anyway, I won't need to. I take the red herb first. 
do that. Do this. And bingo. Piece of cake. All right. Oh, this is only green herb here. I was supposed to use it. Let's take a look see here at our map here about our items. Okay, that's the herbal mix. Green herb. I don't change. Well, all right. Like I said before, you can be the mediator, but like I said, I have very high expectations. else here, per se. I don't think so. So, with all that said, let's move on. Okay, so that's where the regulation coil comes into play. Hmm. So we gotta go back upstairs. Now the real question is, so how do I get the door open? Like I said, I have the key components, but uh... One of the items. Shoot. Well, I'll have to leave the Molotov cocktails behind. Yeah, you did mention that the last time we spoke that this was your favorite. And of course, I also spoke about my favorite Resident Evil game, that being Resident Evil 4. Of course, uh, since we're on the topic of Resident Evil games, uh, here's a barn burner for you. Who's your favorite uh, Resident Evil character? That's the real barn burner right there. No, Resident Evil 4 is my favorite. Because, like I mentioned before, it took the biggest risk, but it also had the uh, biggest payoff. Of course, my favorite Resident Evil character of all time was Ada. Where she first appeared in Resident Evil 2, and then... Her character actually really shined in the fourth game. Because, I mean, because in Resident Evil 2, she got a lot of spot time, but her character just wasn't really well developed at that point. But in Resident Evil 4, her character really, uh, shine. I don't know what other game she was in. Was she in 6? I believe? I don't remember. Well, anyways, I'm not gonna dibble about that now. Don't have time for dibbling. So you must be a fan of a... Uh, why can't you be a law enforcement officer? I mean, what's stopping you from getting any education in law enforcement? Of course, the real question is, though, what branch of law enforcement would you get into? Because there's quite a few of them. before I can get the machine room open, but what is it? 
I mean, what I'm asking is, why can't you go into law enforcement school? I mean, what's stopping you? Yeah, law enforcement officer. Yeah, being a law enforcement officer in any branch is stressful work. Of course, any job but nowadays here is stressful. Exactly how to, uh, I was trying to think here. Um, there was more that needs to be done so I can get the door open. What is it? I work at a dog care facility. That's nice. I get to work with uh, doggies all day. Oh, cool. You're from Sweden. That's. Very interesting. Wait a minute, what's that? Just a minute. Oh, that's from... Wait a minute. What is that? Oh, don't tell me I need the grappling... Oh, I need the... My favorite cop movie is James Bond, Sean Connery. I hate to break it to you, but 00, Agent 007 is a, is a spy for MI6. Yeah, he's... Yeah, James Bond is not a cop. He's a... Uh, Secret agent. Ah, oh, I figures I need the grappling hook again. Oh, for God's sakes. Oh, grappling hook. Why must you torture me ever so? Well, whatever. I'm not gonna whine cry or fuss about it. So it's back all the way to the cable car room. Oh boy. Shoulda guessed. Uh, no. Spies and cops are not one and the same. Well, law enforcement, cop really needs no explanation. Whereas a spy works completely different. Especially if you work for a company like the C, especially if you work for the CIA, where it depends on what branch of the CIA office you work for. They do way different things, so. Uh, there's more to it than that. Spying is espionage, whereas being a law enforcement officer is you work for the public. No, I don't want to take that. I want to take the gosh darn grappling hook. No. Well, you know what? Yeah, I'll take it. And sometimes with spies, you have to do it. Being a spy is actually a lot more complicated than, you, than what the movies make it out to be. There's a lot more involved. Because I think uh, there was a video of like an actual spy playing an actual spy game and uh, I'm just trying to remember. I saw a video of it, but I'm just trying to remember what channel it was. Oh, I figures I need to use the grappling hook. Hopefully this is for the last time. Well, spies really don't have to rely so much on firearms like a law enforcement officer does. And speaking of which, your law enforcement officers only have to use firearms as a last resort. Whereas being a spy, you have to be a little more subtle than that. The door's now unlocked. Good. Have to get Billy back upstairs. It took you so this long. Work. Okay. It took you so long to get up here. I thought you were gonna leave me again.
so each of them have one component, so she'll so so she'll take hers first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This machine regulates power input and output. You can use it to get the cable car moving. No, like no, really. Well, that takes care of one part. Okay, Billy, your turn. All right. My favorite cop movie, um, I haven't seen a whole, I don't watch movies a whole lot, because generally in my, in my opinion, movies nowadays here just don't have the same charm. Well, then again, we can also thank Hollywood for that, but, but that's the least case scenario. I'm not a big fan of uh, cop movies, to be honest with you. Actually, quite frankly, I'm not a big fan of watching TV in general. All right. Do these kids have any room for more? Okay, she has room for one more item. Um, let's take a look here before I leave. Let's see what else I can take. Oh, the first aid server. But that's a couple of rooms back. Wait, am I in the lab? What do I think is the best Bond movie? Um, I've seen quite a few of them. I've seen The Man with the Golden Gun. I've seen Die Another Day. I've seen Dr. No, which is my favorite in my opinion because you cannot beat Sean Connery. I mean, Roger Moore wasn't a bad actor. And I think Pierce Brosnan, I would think, would be number two in my book. Oh yeah, I've also seen Goldeneye. Goldeneye was also pretty good, but I still say Dr. No is my favorite. You stay here. Okay. Follow me. Yeah. Could you just... I'll go check over there. Yeah. Ooh, this had a way. Very lengthy okay. conversation going here. But like I said, this is not going to deter me from my duty. This is the lonely green herb here. Um, should I take the first aid spray or should I take the mix? Well, I suppose the six one half does it in the other. Daniel Craig was not in a Doctor No. That was Sean. That was a Sean Connery film. Daniel Craig, I think it was in the later films. I think was it Skyhook. I think. I'm just trying to think. It was. Yeah, I think Daniel Craig's one of the more recent uh, Bonds, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, there was also Roger. Like I said, there's Roger Moore, Timothy Dalton. I think was another 007, but I forgot what movies he was in. Oh yeah, I gotta get the first aid spray. Although the mix would be more useful. I'll agree, Daniel Craig, I don't think was that great of a bond. I mean, that's just one person's opinion. But like I said, nothing can be good old fashioned Sean Connery. Of course, so does Billy need ammo at this point? Well, I mean, it wouldn't hurt to take some. Oh, I... Oh. Hello. Looks like Mr. Uh, Zombie Man got a little, uh... Once again, a little... A little munchies from from Becca. Oh, chew on this! Smash. <laughs> All right. I'll take the herbal mix. All right, let's get to the cable car. I think we're done here. Thank God for not using the grappling hook anymore. Making some pretty good progress here, I gotta admit. Making some good progress. Oh, the movie Die Hard? Oh yeah, Die Hard's also pretty good too. I think, I've, although I've only seen the first Die Hard, I think there's three, I believe. I'm not sure. As far as the Scream movie goes, uh, -uh. that's not my favorite horror movie. I just found Scream too, uh, too bland. I mean, if you want a good horror movie, 
I would recommend watching uh, Clown House. Clown House is a really good horror movie because it doesn't have to rely so much on gore. It's more of a psychological horror. Oh, the Resident Evil movies? Ugh. No, thank you. Oh, the Resident Evil movies I heard were horrible. I mean, you can have... Is it Malia Jovovich? That was in that movie? You can have her in any Resident Evil movie all you want. It's still not going to save her from the fact that the Resident Evil movies suck. Cops here and Die Hard? Yes, but if I remember the plot from the first movie correctly, uh, I don't think they entered the... Uh, the building. Uh oh. Monkey. Hey. Uh oh. No. No, you're gonna take me out to dinner. You promised you would. Oh, Clown House actually is a really good psychological horror movie. It's not a horror movie that relies on gore, it relies on one. It relies on, uh, suspense. Ow! Back off, Sammy! Ow! Back off! Ow! Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got an idea. Take this! Ooh, ooh. Burn! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I got a demon out of the deal too, so nice. Alright, time to squishy squishy you. Get off me! Are the cops in the movie? Um I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say because I don't wanna spoil it. If you wanna if you want good uh like I said before, I'm not gonna spoil the plot for any movie that involves law enforcement. Because, like I said, if you want to watch a movie like that, you have to uh, watch it for yourself. Because why should I spoil it for you? Get off me, you stupid leech! Ow! Squisha, squisha, squisha. I mean, she's still doing alright for herself. All right. There's no power going to the cable car. Something must have gone wrong with its power regulator. Uh, so back upstairs we go. All right, so we gotta flip the power on again. Leechers were doing the whole time. I mean, were they the ones who actually managed to uh, pull the plug? I mean, if so, that's pretty impressive for a bunch of uh, invertebrates. No, I don't want the grappling hawk. I want the power regulator. Like somebody doesn't want you to leave. All right. Do I have any ink on this? Billy. This is so gonna come back to bite me in the butt at the end. But not really, because we didn't make too much progress at this point. Well, before I get too far ahead of myself here, I'm gonna take a look at the map. Oh, I, oh, I should go back and get the herbal mix. Or, should I 
if I can get the first aid. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Uh, it'd probably be more worthwhile to get the first aid spray. But the mix can get rid of poison, which we haven't encountered yet, but it's not a matter of if, but when. All right, let's go find Billy. Cause he has all the ink ribbons. Oh, so there's, what do we have here? Well, that's the Magnum, I believe. Start the cable car, yep. Billy disappeared too. That way's locked. I think something's okay. I think we're getting close. Oh, that's a key item, too. Well, got to leave the magnum behind. Factory key. Okay. This is what I need.
explore this room too much yet until I find Billy. Okay, so it's locked from the other side. sealed. Okay. I do want to save here, though. This equipment looks like it's used to monitor equipment at the construction site. There's no need to mess around with it. Alright. Oh, I want to take that key I just found. There's something written on the tag. The tag reads, you. Okay, so what could that mean? Up. Okay. Alright, so we gotta find some place down in order to move up. Hmm. Where? Well, I mean, there's not a whole lot of space to explore, but. Uh... So that's not the door. And I highly doubt I have to take the cable car back up because I have to find Billy. something in here per se something is being displayed a giant humanoid being is suspended by organic fluid inside a capsule that's nice which of course I think is gonna come later
Hmm. Well, Life board lists the work schedule for the construction site. It's a control panel. There's a keyhole. Oh, here we go. There we go. Well, now we're starting to uh, put two and two together here. Ah, if I can. There. All right, now we're making progress here. Let's save once more. Elevator. I have where to go. Oh, the turntable? Yes. here. Oop, oop, oop. Other way. There you go. Well, what's on the other side of the door? Wait, hang on. Right into this door. What's over here? The door reads security room. There's no need to search this place. Okay, Rebecca. Where is everybody? They should have arrived here before me. Haven't you seen them? That's unfortunate. If we go straight from here, we should arrive at an old mansion which Umbrella uses for research. Come on, let's go. Wait, I've got to find Billy. Billy Cohen? You mean you found that criminal? Yes, but we got separated and. No point worrying about him. He won't make it. Come Please on, let's go. Please get out my ink ribbons. How am I supposed Please. to save the game? I know the ink ribbons. It. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you. Rebecca. All right. Just be careful. I never saw him again. Oh, it's another key. Mm. Oh. I always make another mix. The key necessary to get the elevator running again. Okay. You've already searched this area. Oh. Okay, so yeah, we'll have to go through that other door then, I suppose. How goes the game? We're making some uh, progress here. We're progressing along a. Uh, Quite nicely. It's not working right now. Okay, so I guess there's only one way to go. I think I have to go back up. Unless there's something else I overlooked. Go read security. Oh yeah, so I guess I gotta go back up. Is there another elevator that I'm not aware of? No, 
Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna have to go back up. Oh, that's so. Okay, now, um... So where am I supposed to go now? And I can't go through that door. I want to take a look at my map. I swear, if I have to use the grappling hook, and, if I, and I forgot it, I'm just going to be so pissed. Oh, I forgot about this side. There's no need to search this place. You've got to be kidding me. So unless there's another way to go back up, hopefully I'm not stuck here. Hmm. Okay, now like now we're making some real progress here. You know something like that? Oh, um, hi. Who's that? Uh, how's it going? Hey, not Billy, are you? I remember this fight being really hard. yet. Oh. Yeah, like I said, if you're not well prepared for that fight, that fight is going to be hard.
like I said, I can always go back and get a. I can always go back and get the grenade grenade launcher if I need to. Unless it's too late. Oh, so look where we are. We're back at the very beginning. And look, our items are still here. Very nice. I did leave a few healing items behind, but I didn't leave any. Did I leave any here, per se? I know there's a red herb, lone red herb. But that doesn't mean no good. Well, that's back at the beginning, so I don't need to go through the train. Okay, it looks like he escaped. Alright, so... So our next objective is to get the door unlocked. Shotgun shells. Ooh. Well, this could pose a problem. But I can always put these to good use. Perfect. Alright. Now we're making some progress here. So I might have to leave the shotgun behind. I got a few shots left in here. Um, Alright, so the nice thing is to find Billy. I'm gonna go grab the cocktails. Oh, I forgot there's two more green herbs right here. Huh. Figures. And let's not forget in the save room, too, there's also a red and green herb there as well.
That's right, there's one more source of magnum rounds, but I have to go all the way back to the bar to grab the magnum ammo, which I have a feeling I'm going to need. I don't think that fall at all, but hey. At least I know how to get there. Alright, good. Got me some magnum ammo. Now it's time to go all the way back to the facility.
Let's see what I can do in the next few moments here. Hope to find Billy. I mean, worst case scenarios, I can always pick it up next time. Said and done. So this is level three. Okay, I gotta go down one more. <laughs> Playtime is over. You and your friends no longer amuse me. Good riddance. Now nothing will stop me from getting my revenge. So I'm to assume that's Dr. Marcus right there. Or Director Marcus, excuse me. Like I said, if I have to make the stream run a little bit longer, I'll do just that. gonna do it for this session here. Um, thank you all for watching. Thanks to those who joined me in the chat. I'll see everyone next time.